that, I want to bring Santos in. Hi. There he is. Hi. Hey, uh, Sam, thank you for having me again. And uh, <clears throat> thanks, JP. You got a tan. You're welcome, mate. Yep. I'm a um, solar bather, solar gazer, and uh, heliognostic. Wow. We have snow here. Snow. Um, so look, go ahead. Yeah, so uh, look, I'm just going to carry on with um, uh, the subject of energy and how the different rays that uh, come from the Taurus field can heal us um, and how we can um, <clears throat> heal through understanding, knowledge, wisdom, intelligence, consciousness. Um, these are the centers. This is the center of intelligence. This is the, the heart chakra, um, the center of all Taurus fields. This is the dielectric plane. And so this is the, uh, the earth, which is also an anagram for heart. And ether, ether is uh, known to be the field in which the earth, the ether, the heart, is beating okay so what we have is a heartbeat and our lungs are breathing breath is brathos when we breathe compression that's blue when we expel the breath redshift rarefaction compression rarefaction compression rarefaction this is the wave expression of the universal pulse which is in your heart. Your heart is dum dum, dum dum, all is adum. All is adam, all is atum. So when you listen and you meditate, you'll hear the beat of the heart of the earth in earth, in earth, inertia, the inertial plane, the earther. Um, and so what we have now is the pulse is the the heart the heart pumps red blood Adam means red Another meaning for Adam is breath bra theos Brahma breathes and so the breath is in the lungs and This is expressing the constant pulse and wave of the universe So what we're going to do today is understand how all these atom through the numbers 20, through the number 26. We've already established 24. Um, but um, <clears throat> the uh, number 26 is the God number. And the wheel is 24. Uh, and what half of 26 is 13. The phi, um, the phi ratio, and the half of 24 is 12. Pi. This expresses 12, 12, uh, sorry, 12 expresses pi phi, a uh, pi pi, uh, 3.141. And 13 is a, um, a golden ratio number of phi, which is 1.618. So this is how we're going to look at these numbers, the root of 13 and the root of 12. Okay, so um, L. Aleph Lamed. Lamed is the Lamb. Adam, the twelfth letter. This is twelve. This is one. Thirteen. God, seven plus fifth. G O D. Seven. Fifteen. Four. Twenty six. Remember, twice thirteen is twenty six. So Al, God comes to 26. And by the way, Aleph means ox. Aleph is the ox, the sterile ox. And Lamed, the meaning of Lamed is ox goad. Goad is God. God the ox. The bull. Jupiter and his bulls. Krishna and his bulls, his cows. They're all Taurus fields. Okay, so Jupiter 4, God, is a forest field. 
Jehovah, Yod He Va He. Ten, five, six, five. Twenty six. Aleph, Yod Ten, Yod Ten, Vav Six. Twenty six. English, twenty six letters. Latin, twenty six letters. Elohim, fifty two. Twice twenty six. These are the numbers of the card decks. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got a card deck of fifty two, and we also have a seventy eight card deck, which is the tarot. One plus two plus three plus four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve equals seventy eight. When you put the twelve signs of the zodiac twelve in here, this rotor, this Taurus. Tarot, rota, wheel, bra, theos, breath, and pulse equals 78. So you've got your two card decks in, in the wheel. Okay? So we have the ox and the ox goad make 13. This is the key to understanding. The letter 26. Um, 20 is cosmic differentiation. 2, division. 6 is karma, obviously. The male phallic, the blue watery feminine womb. They equal 8. 8 is nirvana. 8 is liberation. See the eight, what goes around, comes around, eternally. So this is the nirvana. So it's infinity. infinity. It's infinity. It's the Lemniscate, the Mobius Strip, the double helix. Um, the double helix, DNA, Dan, and Nad. We'll get to that. So this is a double helix. goes that way. As I said last week, Aries, Taurus... Gemini, Cancer, Adenine, Thymine, uh, Guanine, Cytosine. This eight is the eight-spoke wheel. The eight-spoke wheel in India is called the Dharma wheel. Adama, all is Adam. Two times six is 12. So uh, two plus six is eight. Here is the other wheel. So you have the two wheels. This wheel gives you the cardinal signs, the cardinal cross, and St. Andrew's cross, which is the cross-quarter days of the ox. See, here is the ox, the bull, Taurus. The Taurus is here in May. May comes from mag. Mag comes from magnitude. Magnetism, to move. That's why May, mag, is moving. The Taurus is the, the Tavros. The Tavros is the Tau, this T here, which is represented in these wheels and is the symbol of Christianity and the swastika and all symbols. That's the, the, the Tav or the Stavros in Greek, which is where Christ is crucified on the Stavros, the cross, the pole. And this is the pole. So... What we have here is the dynamic ox, the double cross. It is also the 24th letter. X is the 24th letter. It expresses perfectly this wheel dynamically. Static, cardinal. Dynamic and this is the ox goad the ox god of the Taurus fields Jupiter is always with his Tauruses here is a quote from Proclus uh, of the Orph Orphic of the Orphic um, uh, Verses Proclus says this is a neoplatonic uh, one of the great ones in Athens. He was uh, in the fourth century when a uh, hundred years before Justinian shut down the Neoplatonic schools in um, 
537. And you might want to research an article about law and Justinian law called the Justinian Deception, where they gave us a legal name, which is a dead corpse name, which is the fruit, the usufruct of the Vatican, the divining serpent in the Garden of Eden, which gave us the dead corporate name, the legal name, which is the uh, fruit, fruit of good, credit and evil, debt. So you will see how evil he and his wife, who removed reincarnation from the, the Bible, were at this time. And Proclus lived a hundred years, lucky for him, before this demon. This is what uh, Orpheus says, Jupiter is the king. Jupiter himself is the original source of all things. There is one power, one God, and one great ruler over all. But we have seen that Jupiter and all the other gods were but the names for the sun. As I've said in my presentation, everything is the sun, everything. Sun and Saturn, the two twins, Horus and Set, Jesus and Satan. Therefore, it follows that the sun, either as emblem or as God himself, was the object of universal adoration. And this is the sun. This is, a, this is Jupiter that we're talking about, who is the sun, because when Jupiter is in Pisces, uh, when the sun is in Pisces, it is given the appellation of Jupiter. When it's in Mars, it's given the appellation of uh, sorry, when it's in Aries, it's given the appellation of Mars, Taurus, Venus. And so this is just but one name for the sun. They all go back to the sun. The sun is the vital force in the heart. This is the heart chakra where the sun is 12 petals. This ray of light has 12 petals. This one has four. This one has 16. The heart chakra has 16 petals. Very important numbers, these. 12 petals in this ganglion. The body has 26 sympathetic nerve ganglions. 26. So Thor, this is the tree, Yggdrasil, in the Midgard, the middle garden. It is the Thor re, the tree. The Arbor. Arbor is an anagram for Abra. Abra is Abracadabra. Abra in Spanish, open, abra la puerta. In Italian, apra, aprile. Aprile, R and L being interchangeable, becomes ap aprile, to open. Open sesame. Abracadabra. Abra is this abrasion of this blue shift, red shift of every magnetic gyroscopic atom, all is atom, that ever existed. So every form is this. Every form is the form of Krishna and his cows, the Tauruses. They are turrets, little towers. Tor, pressure for at atmospheric uh, measure, um, unit of um, atmospheric pressure. Torre in Italian, tower. Oh, well, I did that wrong, didn't I? Torrent. This is the torrent. Torsion, turn, talk, as in mechanical um, um, talk, to talk. These are all creating torus fields. There is only torus fields, whether it's through the sound waves or whether it's through the ether. Now, while we're on this word, the ether, here's a little thought for us. These are all the words. Pay attention. These are all the anagrams that come from Earth. Last week, I put heaven here. I did this. Heaven. Well, it's also the heart chakra is also earth. Okay? Head is heaven, but heaven is also here. And, and the words tell you this. The words will guide you. The words are archetypes, angels, and archangels. Okay? So... What we have, these are all the anagrams that we get from here. Half, ether, to hear with your ear. Heat, the heat that is produced in the heart. Hate, the seat of 
this um, emotion is in the heart to hate. Tear, the heart sheds tear. Uh, rate, the heart rate. That would be ra. Yeah, the chak ra of the heart rate. To eat, eight past tense of eat. R to be. You are in the heart. I am. If you put a B in here, you get breath. The breath of brathios, the breather. This is the breath, the wave. As I said before, Adam means red and breath. Red is the blood and the heart, dum dum. And breath is your lungs where you have compression and rarefaction. So this is explaining or describing this pulse, this dielectric pulse of the electromagnetic time-space illusion, the Mayan world. Now, just a couple more um, words. Death. Death, because death is just the door to to the aether it's the door to the other world Rhea Rhea is in the heart she's the goddess Ra the consort of Ra Ra is in the heart and last but not least art this is where your art comes from your heart so what we have here, if we look at the number 12 and see how special it is, <clears throat> we have the Star of David or the Sigil of Saturn over here. And I have the 12 numbers wrapped around through those, um, that shape, the Sigil of Saturn or the Star of David. This is the male phallic. This is the womb. And so all these lines, there are six straight lines. They all add up to 26. There are six, two triangles. As you can see, all the numbers add up to 26. Three rhomboids, all the numbers add up to 26. One hexagon in the middle, all the numbers add up to 26. All these numbers add up to 12. 12 times 12, 144, is the Star of David. So, <clears throat> and of course the dodecahedron, which is the ether, the 12-sided polyhedra, made of, um, actually it's not these hexagons, it's pentagons, um, so 12 of those, and that makes 60, 12 times 5 is 60, and so what we have is the root of a system, and it's in the torus field, and the root is root 13 and root 12, um, at, and so being the master, below it are four um, material elements, and they are fire, air, water, and, and earth. So energy is expressed like this, you see. In Egypt, this is the sign of Aquarius. This is water. It is also matter. The mother, marine, maritime, Mary, matter, mother, motion, material. So, let's go like this for now. So what we have is the wave. We have Adam, which is, well... 26 is iron. Aries is where atom originates. Um, and so the ruler of Aries is Mars, and the element of Mars is iron. 26 is Jehovah, God, iron. And I shall rule the nations with an iron rod. With an iron scepter, I shall steer the nations. This is God Jehovah, number 26, iron. 
iron. Mars is a red planet. There's only red, five red objects in the sky, five, four stars and Mars, red. How do you say, <clears throat> how do you say Mars in Hebrew? Ma, sorry. Ma Adim. Adam means red, Mars is red, and Ma Adim means Mars, backward for Ram. Remember, look in the mirror. Ram, Ma. You see, but Mars is Mary. Just as Adam is Madam, just as Eve is Evan, or is he Steve, Stavros, Eve, the wave, all is the wave. Don is Donna, is also Madonna, is Dennis is Denise. Is it Don or is it Donna? Is it a lad or is it a lady? And so what you find that Atum is hermaphrodite. It's a hermaphrodite. <clears throat> Tom Thomas means twin. This is the twin. Red shift, blue shift. Huh? Esau's red. Abel is blue. Adam's red. Eve. Eve, our mother. The waters is blue. Maritime, Mary, marine. <clears throat> so the twin, Thomas, when you put an A privative in front of a word, atom, that means no more twin unit. Cause the power of one, effect the power of two. You can only get effect with two. Two. Two plus six is eight. Differentiation, karma, nirvana. Eight, nirvana. Liberation. See, because you go down at the bottom of the eight, and then you go up to heaven. Then you come down. To the plane of the earth, you do good deeds, you go back up to heaven. Then you fall. Adam and Eve falling. Uh, <clears throat> so, Ram, Mary. This is why Rama. Rama, born on the 15th of April open uh, is the Ram of God or the Lamb of God Aries Jesus resurrects here everything happens here in in um, theology this is where Noah's Ark lands on Mount Zion in a, in Nisan or usually around Nisan 17 the Sun Jesus resurrects here because the Sun has is coming up in Aries always the first sign master 21st the equinox is here June the 21st uh, summer solstice is on the cancer, the Tropic of Cancer. This is always the first opening, Aprile, month of the year. The first year is Aries, I am. I am is God, the Ram. In Japanese, Maru means circle. Daimaru, remember the shopping centers? Daimaru, shopping centers. Dai means big, big circle. Maru is Mary. The Ram, Mars is Mary, Mars, Mary, Adam, Madam. <clears throat> so let's uh, what we have is an equator, a tropic, and a tropic, and the wave expresses itself like this. And it's a double helix. Helios the healer. And so your DNA 
is then Adam, Japanese uh, Spanish word for Adam, Japanese word for man. Dan say like sensei, dan say man in Japanese. Nada is nothing in Spanish. Adam backwards, but in Sanskrit this is sound the wave. And these are all four different ways of expressing those four, uh, those three A and D. Andros, the man. Andrew, manly. The man has a hand. Handy, Andy. That's why we have all these expressions. Pay attention. Handy, Andy. Man with the hand, or Andros. Andrew has a mano, which is your hand. That's why you manufacture, maneuver, manipulate, manage. With your hand, your handy, handy hand, the mano, which makes you a man. Because the man, if you look at Stan Tennant's work, dance, the dance of the Hebrew alphabet, please. Please study this. He will teach even, even the flat earth plane like I did before. He's a Jewish scholar. He, t he knows that the earth is a big apple. He puts the earth on a disc in the center of the apple, and the apple is the apple of Apollo, is the Thor of the Thorus, torso, Taurus fields of Thor, Jupiter, the god of all gods, Krishna, Christ. Same thing. These are Christs. And so what you have is um, another anagram for this. This is, um, nada is sound in Sanskrit. Sound. Onda. Onda is to undulate. The wave. Adam, the ram, and Eve, the you. Everything, all is the lamb. Revelation 21, 20, 23. And the sun need not shine in the city of God, where the lamb is its lamp. Lamp is the lamb, okay? The lamb that shines. 29 times the word lamb is mentioned in the book of Revelation. And the lamb and the lion were op worthy to open the seal. That's the lion's chakra seal. The crown chakra is the, the lambs, the cerebrams. Chakra seal. Of course, only the lion, the lamb in the head and the lion in the heart, earth, can open the seals for us to, um, to um, ascend. Eve came from the lamb, Adam, ran, because God uh, took a rib out of Adam to make Eve. And so he created the ribbon of the deoxy ribo nu clique acid the D N A and that ribbon that ribbon the rib is what we call ionic bonding. Ionic bonding, so an ion, interesting word that they should put that word, which is a Ioni, Isis, Eve, you get the picture. So when um, a positive atom loses an electron, a rib, um, now you have a negative. Oh boy, you know, it was positive first, atum, positive. Now it's negative. Well, that's ionic bonding. That's Eve getting a rib, an electron from an atom, 
to partake in the dualistic world of all is atum. So, surely you've got a question? Yeah, a bunch. I thought I lost you there. Go on. No, I muted myself. Okay. Okay. Yesterday, scientists came out and said that um, the DNA is in a wave. Sorry? Yesterday, scientists came out and said that the DNA is in a wave. It's not stationary, it's in a wave, just like you showed. Absolutely, we just saw it. We saw the atom and the U. Atom means noise, vibration, red, redshift, sound, sonoluminescence, and Eve means the same thing. The serpent in the Garden of Eden is right in the center. And so when we choose to do this Dharma wheel, all is a Dharma, um, and we express in 12 signs of the, uh, the zodiac, I'm Aries, someone else is Capricorn, etc., etc. We are the 12 tribes of Israel. 12 tribes of Israel. There's no lost tribe of Dan. The lost tribe of Dan now. Where could they be? Could it be all of the Danites who have atoms, anatoms, anatomies? Hence, we are all the children of Adam with our anatomy and our coming from a womb and ending up in a tomb. You see the letter T? Yeah, I'm standing up. That's the letter sure. T. So, so when you look at your cathedrals, you see a cathedral is always in the shape of a man. A cross. That's the tomb. And you always have the altar up. You always have the... Um, Holy of Holies up here where Aries is, Aries is in the head. Please remember. Oh, please remember the holy science. Aries is the ram, the Sarah Bram, Sarah Abram in the he heaven, heaved up high, high ram. Taurus is the cerebellum, the bullum, cerebral, because it is bellicose and it is bello, beautiful. The one, the good, and the beautiful. Dielectricity. Magnetism and electricity is the beautiful, the beautiful material world of Taurus fields. Here always, always, in all cathedrals is Taurus the altar. Al Tor, the altar. This is where they sacrifice in the altar, Taurus, the Tavaros, the Stavaros. And then here is Gemini, the twins. And then you have Cancer. You have the heart, Leo, Virgo, Libra, the two kidneys, Scorpio, the generative system. Here you have Sagittarius, the hips, hippo, hips, caps, Capricorn, kneecaps, chins, Aquarius, and the two feet, Pisces. So the whole universe knows how the heavens are to be constructed and this is why they gave us a key so didn't they give us a good little doozer of a key here hmm what do we have so we have March the 21st the equinox or oh, the eight spoke wheel Aries Taurus the Taurus field diverging centrifugal wave Gemini Gemini are the twins one twin over here another twin on the other side of the Taurus field cancer Sideways moving animal, sun waning, sun waxing, the Lamb of God resurrecting in April, Easter. Comes up to his strength. Here he is beautiful. The one, remember the Neoplatonist school, guys. Read up on Plotinus, Porphyry, Iamblichus, Suetonius, uh, um, Salustius, not Suetonius, Salustius, um, uh, Plutarch pre-Neoplatonic, read up on these guys, okay? Plotinus was the one who exposed or expounded on the one, the good, God, and the beautiful, bell, bell electricity, bellicose, warmongering, red and blue. And so they gave us the key. The sun is beautiful in the morning. This is the morning, 6 a.m., midday, strong, the MC, the mid-heaven. Sun setting, set, September, sun set. Where the next sign, Libra, is where Saturn exalts. Sun exalts in Aries. 
You see, before I said Mars is the ruler of Aries. Yeah, well, there it is. So wisdom at sunset, Dom, all is Dom. The autumn begins here. And so the sun goes down to the, here's the Tropic of Cancer, Cancer. And here's the Tropic of Capricorn. See, Hiram, Tyrion, widow's son, seeketh, uh, Hiram, Tyrion, widow's son. Anyway, this is King Solomon, the KS. Uh, I forget these two words. Point is, Hiram, Hiram, the builder of the temple of the soul of man, solo, mono, sun and moon, alone in the sky. Solo, sol invictus, mono, the moon. They're all alone, twins. The sun is the twin of the moon. And so, so what wait, we have wait, here... Wait. The Bible yep. is a story within a story depicting the universe and how the universe interacts with the human and our consciousness. Is that correct? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's, um, it is a holy science. It is a sacred science. Hence, it's dealing with light and energy, God, consciousness life force truth god is truth so what is the ark of the covenant the, this the ark that's it that's the ark that's noah's ark here it is there it is it's the ark of the covenant see that's the um well that's god g uh, generation um gaia ganga um geometry uh, gematria uh, it's also um, Gyna, V, A, and the G in the middle, Vag, the Gyna, the Vagina, the portal through which we come to do the wave. Because we're all children of Eve, the wave. Ave, Ave Maria is the wave. And so what's, this is what's the box? This is describing. Sorry? What's the box? What's the box? Well, that's the. Um, uh, these are all the goodies in the in the um, um, the Old Testament. This is the Ark of the Covenant, and you have your two angels covering over. Well, this depicts the optic thalamus, and this is the cerebrum. cerebrum. The law of God. The manna is the chrism, which is produced in the cerebrum in the Santa Claus claustrum, the holy Santa claustrum. And that cerebrospinal seed goes down. That's the manna from heaven. Unless we lift up the manna, unless we... Um, um, Nicodemus was taught by Christ in the Bible that to be born again, one must lift up the son of man. The son of man is the manna that comes from heaven. It's, it's a beautiful fluid that if we return it back, we um, are able to get our... Uh, um, all the dormant brain cells in the cerebrum awakened. So this is this here is also the the third ventricle, the third heaven. And in here, the two uh, the two laws of Moses are the pituitary gland, which sit in the middle of the Turkish saddle, and they are the two. Um, uh, that's the pituitary body, which is the master of the endocrine system. Therefore, that's the law of God. The, the twin pituitary body, and it's sitting in the sphenoid bone. I'm, t I'm touching my sphenoid bone right now. And if you Google image sphenoid bone, you will see the pituitary gland sitting, two little twins in two little cella, Turkish saddle, and that is the two, um, the two uh, laws of the Ten Commandments of the endocrine system which controls our health and spirituality and so we've got the manna in in the uh, ark of the covenant and that is in the, the optic thalamus and this is what we are to um to raise because as jesus said if you don't lift up the son of man as moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness you will not be born again and being born again is reactivating our higher mind. Show the Christ fluid. Christ fluid. Sorry? Show the Christ fluid. Christ That's ingenious. Fluid. That's ingenious. 
Well, this is another way to have healing, okay? So as we go up the, um, from where Scorpio um, is in the sacrum, this is the orange chakra, this is the base one. Here, this is the sacrum. So the secretion and the sacrum from the claustrum, the holy claus, Santa Claus at the North Pole going down the chimney. So when he brings down all the little goodies under the Christmas tree, what are we going to do with those goodies? We are going to waste that cerebrospinal fluid in, well, sleeping with the prostitutes and ejaculating and, and, uh, and having sex like the swine and eating the food of the swine. And then the prodigal son, after having pr sex with prostitutes, repents and realizes that he's got to save some of that and he's got to bring it up. And so this is the sacred, the sacrum, secret of St. Paul, where he says in Colossians 1, 26 and 27 and 28, um, the sacred secret that was not known to the nations prior to you, I'm telling, of the Christ in you. This is the Christ. So what happens is the fluid becomes the semen here in the man. And see, the, um, the yellow chakra here, just below the green chakra, this is the solar plexus, Bethlehem, Virgo, the breadbasket. And every month when the moon transits your sun sign, mine being Aries, this is a, a time when a psychophysical germ is being planted in the solar plexus. And that little Christ that is so wrapped in fine linen and so vulnerable has to be looked after in those times when the moon is transiting your sun sign. And then with good habits, we raise the Christ. He gets crucified at the 33rd vertebrae where the Ark of the Covenant is waiting at the top of the medulla oblongata where the crucifixion happens. And Joseph and Mary, his progenitors, the pineal gland and the pituitary gland, are waiting for him to be crucified so that they can rejoice that the son has returned to his glory. In here, there is a pneumogastric, in the body, there is a pneumogastric ner uh, nervous system, otherwise known as the vagus. The vagus, because it's va vagrantly um, wandering around the body, feeding the spleen, the heart, the lungs, it, it feeds them and, and sustains them. And they are connected to the, the cerebrum through the vagus pneumogastric nervous system. And it crosses at the top of the medulla oblongata. And there, there is a tomb where Christ is entombed. Tomb, see the T, Thomas, for three days. And then the oil um, causes an electrical pulse to go through that cave the fornix, and you'll see the lateral pillars of the fornix. This is where Jesus is entombed and there's a stone for three and a half days. Then the angel come and then he says, don't touch me. I ain't material no more. Get away from me, Mary Magdalene. You can't feel me because I'm not of material matter anymore. Well, this is the, the resurrection of our Christ within, which the churches don't tell you about because they love stupid little donating, contributing, tax paying, fiat currency adoring slaves of the Justinian deception, which is the legal name and the corpse name. And so we're eating from the tree of the, um, uh, the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good, credit and evil debt. And so those ones who do not learn their science, they stay here in hell. That plane that we draw be drew before, that's here, heart chakra. If we don't get to there, at least, we'll never get to the land standing upon Mount Zion with 144,000. All the petals of the 4, 6, 10, 12, 16, 96, 1,000, 144,000. Okay, I got a question. Okay, I got a question. <clears throat> you know, we're seeing a lot you know, of people that, lot are of people that are crazy. And they're doing and they're bizarre doing stuff. Bizarre stuff. Um, 
you know, the marching, yeah. they're cussing people out. You know what I mean? There's this havoc across the world. But then we have some people like you. We have some people like me. We have some people that have this variance of that Christ oil. So would that be a depiction of your your chimney there? That somebody is stuck somebody in a certain area. Is that what it would be? Okay, explain that. Yes. Okay, explain that. Well, this is Jacob's ladder. You see, Jacob, he put his um, he laid his head down on a sacred sacrum, the second chakra, the sexual generative chakra, um, and he had a dream, and he was climbing up Jack and the Beaks, Jack and the Beanstalks, Jacob's Jack, Jacob's ladder. And he struggled with God. As he was struggling, the angel said, well, I'm going to change your name to Israel, Jacob. And he kept climbing the ladder, and there were angels, uh, devils descending and angels ascending the ladder. Kundalini, Kundabafa, Shushumna, Ida, Pingala, all the nervous system running up and down, going up to head heaven, going down to hell, heal, head heaven heaved up high, heal, hell, your soul of your foot in hell. Your soul is in hell near the heel, soul of your foot. And so what, what is going on here is he gets up to here and he says, wow, I saw God face to face. I'm going to call this place something sound, sounding like a uh, pineal gland. Let me call it uh, Penuel. Yeah, that'll do. That'll hide it just enough. But uh, I didn't get killed, but I saw God face to face. I shall name this place a holy place. That's where the altar is, Taurus. Altair and Moses' older brother, Elder Baron, the red eye of the bull of Taurus in the high 80s, Elder Baron, Elder brother Aaron, the red and the blue. And so also all the, all the Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jump, go, jump over the candlestick. Well, what are the candlesticks? Well, only the one who knows, knows. And they are the equinoxes. And as Jacob, the sun, jumps over the candlesticks, people rush him on and, and encourage him. And to keep, be nimble, be quick, jump over those candlesticks. This is why um, Cinder, um, Snow White, the sun, her mother says, don't you linger in the forest. The sun should never linger on the, the, on the ecliptic. It can never retrograde. Saturn lingers, Jupiter lingers, Mars retrogrades, that's lingering on the ecliptic. The sun's always direct. Right ascending, Ra, right ascension of meridian, Ram, always right ascending. So you see Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, the refracted colours of the rainbow, red shift, blue shift, the, the little helpers of Snow White. Yeah. Um, so when she, eventually, she comes to the end of the forest and she meets up with a wolf that's when she turns red at sunset and below the sunset is always Libra always Aries is always at sunrise opposite where Saturn set and the third deacon of Libra which is lupus the wolf swallows up little red riding hood every freaking evening and then on the other side when the Sun when all the huntsmen go to save little red riding hood well, there's Orion in Taurus, Tavaros, Stavaros, the hunter, Orion, and he slays the wolf. And Little Red Riding Hood, well, she gets to do another breath, pulse, wave along the ecliptic. All so the nursery we, rhymes. So how, do we, how do we climb oh, that, Jacob's Ladder? Or Jacob's Ladder. How do we climb that? By good, good habits. Like moderate habits, like. um, alkalizing the body. Number one, vegetarian can't eat meat. <laughs> you can't be mixing animal blood, which you cannot remove from any meat, any flesh of dead corpse, cadaver, carcass, um, corpse. You cannot do that. So, you are a, 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 you are a vampire, a zombie addicted to blood, whoever you are who are eating meat. And you will never ascend. You'll never get up Jacob's ladder. Forget about it. Because your, your blood, human blood, is mixed with animal blood. It's in every ham sandwich you have. It's in every 
you know, a sushi of raw fish, whatever, whatever creepy corpse you like to ingest, meat eaters, number one. All the Neoplatonists were vegetarians. <laughs> they did not eat pig's bums, cow's bums, chicken bums, fish bums. When I look at a pig's bum, that's not food for me. Cherries, oh yeah. Apples, I like those. Mangoes, watermelon, coconuts. I can eat those all day long. But pig's bum kind of doesn't, it's not food. Okay? And so vegetarianism, number one. Moderate habit, habits. Tobacco, with all those chemicals, forget about it. Alcohol, with all those preservatives, forget about it. Um, all the toxins and poisons, find out ways of re removing sodium fluoride from your water and the chlorine and all the other shit that's in there. Good water, alkalized water, need to get it up to about 9 on the pH scale. scale. Notice that 14 is blue and 1 so alkaline and acid is red, blue shift, red shift. What's the good side? Well, blue. But we have to be only slightly on the good side to be alkalized. Seven to eight and a half, whatever. But if our water is solarized and magnetized, so we put the south pole facing the water, remember south pole compression, blue shift. North pole, rarefaction, Red shift, rarefaction, radiation, red. And so we can increase the uh, alkalinity of the water, eat more raw food, raw, ra, ra, radiate. And meditation, uh, music, dancing, being happy, no jobs. Just over broke, that's from the devil. That's from the serpent that gave us the knowledge of the good and evil, evil debt system. Jobbers are slavers. We are no slaves of this system, this God, Satan, Kronos, time, temporo, spatial, that's Saturn. That is not our God. Our God is the one that transcends that. This is a transcendent God, which is unconditioned consciousness, intelligence, life force, love, truth, unlimited, unqualified, unconditioned, omniscient, omnipotent, omnipresent consciousness, energy. What's after, what's after, what's after the heart? What's after the heart? What should we be striving for? What's what our next goal? For? What's our next goal? Well, the, the sky, the throat chakra, 16. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. 16 words. Hare is Horus. Horus is your vocal cords. You need to chant. See, uh, Osiris is the lungs. Uh, sorry, Isis is the lungs, according to the Egyptians. Osiris is the larynx. And the little child Horus, horse, when you are horse, it means your, la your vocal cords, Horus, get hoarse. And so that power to create comes from here. 16, the blue ray. It's 16 petaled. It's very um, high capacitance light, the blue. Red is low capacitance. It only has four petals, four rays in it. This one is more condensed, 16. That's why this pet ch chakra tells you that blue is a 16-ness. Green is a 12-ness. Am I still on? Yes, but yes. you know what? Yeah. We need but to wrap up. Wrap up. Yep. Well, look, so where, um, can they, they find you? Can they find you? So universaltruthschool.com. This website is going to be improved immensely. It's going to be so user-friendly. There will be um, uh, there will be graphics. There will be all information how to raise the chrism, when to do it. Also, you can go to my YouTube channel, Mister Astro Theology. One word. Please subscribe, share, and um, we should be able to save save Ave Maria, the world. She's the one who will will save us, magnetism, conscious divine magnetism.